I'm fishing in a pretty cool spot today, so I think that entails getting down in style. Got the kayak here, all loaded up. Let's go! Woohoo! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go fishing, guys. It's not looking pretty. That was actually so sick. Wow. Did I just do that? Oh my gosh, the way to get into the spot, oh, it's pretty crazy. I have to literally lug the kayak through some insane terrain. But that's just even more reason to get on the fish. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> so, guys, that might have been for show. That might have been my actual approach into the water, but we're kayak fishing this lake that has supposedly huge trout. The farther I go up that way, there's a river that comes in and a place that I will not name that stocks huge fish that might run into the lake. So that's my plan as of right now. I'm gonna start kayaking up that way that I showed you. Part one of the day was a fail. I went out there for salmon, didn't catch anything, but I got a good feeling about this. Life jacket, as always, gotta really be safe out here, especially when you're doing like that. Entering the lake in style, definitely sketchy. So we're all set in the kayak and now we're officially off it was a little bit of a false start right there, but I feel like I had to do that just to amp up the energy for this trip. There's going to be a lot of exploring. I've never done this before, never fished this spot. So with that being said, I'm really excited just to kind of see what happens. Zero idea. That's the best way to do it on these trips. When you go out, you have a vague plan in mind, but you got no idea what's going to happen. Ah, stuck in the sand. Really shallow. I'm not gonna make it through that way. I don't even know if I'll make it through this way. What the heck? Where am I right now? This is ridiculous. I thought I was trout fishing. This is not looking like trout fishing water to me. I don't know, maybe I came up with a bad game plan for today or I'm just on the send. And it's just one of those times that you got no idea what's gonna happen. I just don't know which way to paddle through this because it's like real mud. I'm not gonna make it through with the kayak. There must be over a board at the end of this paddle. I gotta take some speed into this. It's getting really muddy. My kayak might get stuck. It might legitimately get stuck up here. Oh no. All right, we're a boarding mission in the kayak. As you can see, I'm stuck in a ton of mud right now. And it's not looking pretty. Ugh. I'm trying not to get my feet wet, I don't know. Okay. I think I'm gonna literally sink in this mud though. So smartest move is to jump to this rock, go back. I can't reach it. Oh, God. oh that tree's not stable. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, this tree used as a little bit of leverage so I could get over the kayak, secure the kayak. Now I'm gonna drag it up to where I wanna fish. Guys, you might be watching another epic fail kayak fishing trip, just saying. I don't think anyone else is doing this to catch a fish. Finally, I'm casting and I'm in the water on the kayak, so that's a great sign to start off. <clears throat> and I'm fishing a little cast master spoon. Definitely gonna switch up from this. So right now I'm looking for stray trout that have come from upstream right over there down into the lake. It's definitely a quite possible occurrence that it could happen. Trout move very far from wherever they're stocked. So I feel like I have a good shot at catching something. It's just to me a matter of, I think, waiting it out a lot. Like I need to fish this area super thoroughly, throw some different presentations. I think the spoon is a little bit too aggressive. That's just my first take on it. It could get a crazy reaction strike, but I don't think it's gonna catch the fish that wanna be finessed. I think I'm gonna throw on like a little spinner or something like that. Got him. 
Oh, no, 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 no. That was a big fish. Right now I'm tossing out the jerk bait. I just lost a big trout. That came really unexpected. The rain's starting to fall down, so maybe the fish are gonna start getting a little fired up. I don't know, I was just about to move from the spot. That bite's kind of keeping me going right now. I'm putting on a rooster tail because I just lost two big fish in a row on the jerk bait and I just didn't hook into them. Probably spooked the hell out of them. All right, spinner going out there. Let's see if this catches anything. Got him. Fish on. What is this? First fish hooked into on the ultra on the spinner. That's looking like a trout to me. Oh my god, let's go. What is that? Rainbow? Rainbow trout? Brown. That's sick. That's so sick. <laughs> I've been waiting for this bite for so long. Yes! Oh my god. That actually hyped me up so much. I just lost a big fish and now I'm hooked into a brown trout. Luckily I got the net. So we can net this fish. It's been a struggle to get this bite and switching up. Finally put the spinner on and got the first fish of the day in the net. Little 12 inch brown trout, stocky, but that's a fish nonetheless. That's what I'm talking about, baby. The rooster tail did the trick. I was getting bites on the jerk bait and I was thinking, all right, these fish are keying on to bait fish. So that's an awesome success for the day. First trout of the day in the kayak. There he goes. That's epic. Now it's just a matter of continuing on this trend of getting bites and landing fish. And I think the jerkbait might honestly call out the even bigger fish. I lost a big one on the jerkbait. And I, I'm getting a feeling there are more and more trout here than I even expected. Oh, oh my god, another, another brown trout right at the boat on the spinner. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. That was next cast. I don't know if you guys saw that, I got wrecked right at the side of the boat. So that's a really good sign. The rain's coming down, which I think fired the bite up because I wasn't getting any action until the drizzle started coming down. I guess my hunch was correct that there are a lot of trout at the mouth of this river right where it dumps into the lake. Right now I'm walking out of a fishing trip that I took the day after the video you're just watching right now and I decided because of how well today's trip went that I wanted to make a video of the trip that I didn't even film an outro for. I didn't even think I'd make a video out of it. But just today going out here with the ultralight, keeping it really simple and just trying to clear my head and feel it more like myself, it taught me a lot about what I'm trying to get out there through the channel. And for the past long time, I've been realizing that I want to post videos no matter what. So that's why you're seeing this one. Yesterday was a trying day. I didn't really catch anything until the second half of the day. And even then I, I still felt a little bit down. I was just like, I didn't have the greatest perspective, but either way, I was out there, I tried to make the most of it. And the day after, which is today, I'm feeling so much better. So I think it just goes to show that no matter what goes on and what happens on the adventure, you can always take something away from it. You can always expect that something good is coming down the road and you're always gonna be back on track. You're always gonna be feeling like yourself again. So until next time, keep on getting out there, keep on promoting the positivity of fishing and keep on sending it. I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think.